Okay, there's a lot of image generators out there and every day we see something new. But what I just heard about Microsoft releasing this one, I knew that there is something into it. You probably knew that there was like Bing Chat before and it's really good. I've been using Bing Chat for a lot right now. I know you have to use Edge Browser. Nobody likes that, I know, but it's really good. I mean, for me, honestly, it's far better than ChatGPT because this one is not a limited to information, you know, it is up to date. The best feature that it has, well, it can just go and search on Google. Well, it can just search on Bing, but what I wanted to say, well, it can give you the actual information. So if you ask it something like what happened in 2023, it will respond, you know? It's not like this will happen. For example, if you ask ChatGPT who played in Super Bowl 2023 and it will tell you, I'm sorry, but I don't have access to real time information, blah, blah, blah. If you ask the same question to Bing Chat, you will see who played and what else you will get a few links. So it'll just give you a few references on where it went to do the research. As you can see, I've got like six of these. So Fox Sports, Seven News. And this is really cool because you can just go and check, double check the information that it gave you. So I like Bing Chat. So I was just thinking, lad, let's just see the image generator. Maybe it's better than Midjourney. Maybe it's better than Leonardo. So firstly, what we had to do, we have to like describe what would you like to create right away? For example, I just made like simple prompt like female alchemist in the forest and I just click on join and create. You will have to create yourself an account on Microsoft and I do need to tell you that you have these credits. All right. You will get four pictures put per each one of these boosts. And when you spend these boosts, you can, of course, like generate more pictures, but it'll just take more time. You will just go into that waiting list. You know, it'll take like four minutes in order for you to create one image. But these will refresh each week. And apart from that, each generation will give you these reward points. And for example, you can just exchange 500 of these in order for you to get five boosts as well. Honestly, I don't know if they will start to charge this one or if they will just have a certain subscription. I just wanted to create to see the quality of it and these boosts. Now there is a formula which you can find on frequently asked questions. You can just Google for it and then you can just go and do the research yourself as well. But the formula is as follows. So you have the adjective. So what would your noun be like? So for example, you have this noun, which is like creature, and then you have the verb. So what is that noun doing? All right. And then of course you just have to put different style in it. If you have experience with image generation, you know what I'm talking about. But if you don't have any experience, well, you just have to play with it. You know, it's fun. It's really intuitive, but you have to play a lot with it. Just like with everything else, you have to study, you have to do the research and you have to make mistakes. And after a lot of mistakes, you will just find the right thing. Now, what is good as well, you will see the recent creations that a lot of people did. So if you're like in the block, you can just go and search through these prompts that are already there. And you can just see what other people are doing, right? But if you just like you are in the block, let's say, well, you've got this button, which is called surprise me. And I like about this thing that it will not generate the image. So you will not spend your boosts. It will just give you the prompt. All right. So each time you click on this surprise me button, it'll just give you the prompt. So you can just think about it. Maybe you just like the idea that it gave you, but you don't like the style. So you can just always change it. And then you can just click on the create. But let's get back to my prompt, which is female alchemist in the forest. Now I'm a bit like struck because I just see the three photos. Maybe they've changed something or maybe I'm just unlucky to get like only three but I'm just going to check it out with the next prompt. Let's just see the quality first. Now I'm really interested in this one and you can see that it's really, really good quality about this picture. And I didn't even put any style in there. So let me just see if all the hands are here. For example, this one seems fishy. 
Okay, the eyes are good. The eyes are good on this one as well, so it's okay. The hands are good, except that she has like six fingers here, but you can always do that with the negative prompt as well. In here, I think that everything is in order. Yes, it is, except for maybe, I don't know how this stands, if she's not carrying it. Well, she's an alchemist, maybe she can do whatever she wants, but let's just go and play with different styles. So, I wanted to like get these three styles in action, so let's just start with the photo realistic one and see what we will get and here we go photo realistic style I've got four pictures right now maybe it was just a mistake lately this one is good it's a photo really 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 realistic as far as I can see and the fingers are good the eyes and the face looks good so it's really nice this one is also good also really good face really good fingers really good quality about this one I would say with photo realistic style this one as well you can see there's no like real real mistakes in the pictures and I just use this prompt so for example so it's a really really simple prompt if you have any experience with mid journey and all of that you know how detailed you have to go with mid journey and how detailed your prompt would be you know with this one you don't have to use a lot but if you just have a lot of experience with it imagine what you can do with bink and the last picture let's just see this one well this one is good as well as you can see i think there's a little problem here with this finger but all in all it's a really really good picture and it's just fine as far as I can tell let's just go now with pop art style I'm gonna use the same prompt I'm just gonna switch the style click on create and of course you can see that it only takes like one credit for one prompt even though we get four images pop art style as you can see it's good I think that everything is good regarding like the mistakes here maybe the finger is not good but we have to do negative prompt for that this one is good this one is good as well this one is really good pop art style really working and for the last thing I'll go and take graphic design so let's just paste this in there click on create and here we go we've got three of these I don't know what is wrong with this because sometimes as you can see I've got like three pictures but other times I get four so I don't know what is the problem with this but graphic design is a good thing this one is really really nice I mean I could have done it better in Leonardo or mid journey whatever and right away you can see I just wanted to show you this so I've got like these 100 reward points which I can later use in order to get some of these boosts now it's a good thing it can go like pair and pair with mid journey and Leonardo as well and as far as the monetization goes you know the routes I mean I don't have to specifically tell you what you can do with this one the first one is of course going to be freelancing and honestly for example if you just head over to Fiverr and you head over to mid journey artists you can see that people are generating really really a lot have a look at this person 300 of these completed jobs $30 each I don't have to tell you that there's good money in this you just have to work for it I mean you can create as many of these images as you want but if you don't get out there if you just don't dedicate yourself if you don't work hard at just getting these clients if you're just lazy you know this will not work uh, no matter what kind of AI tool you have in your pocket you know I hate it when people just tell me okay can you just tell me like from A to B how can I get the money well something like that doesn't exist because it's always going to be personalized you know because I can't open the doors to you I can just show you the doors you have to open the door and you then you have to go to another one you know it's just the way it works so one door is fiverr.com and you can create multiple of these images then you can go with social media there's a lot of people out there who need the content for their social media TikTok, YouTube Instagram Twitter whatever you have to find those people you have to invest time and effort in order to find these people now you can of course run the channel yourself there's a a lot of examples out there have a look at this channel they've got 1.3 million followers on house of leaders and what they did at the beginning they just pasted quotes I mean have a look at this just imagine how little work was needed in order to make this you know simple quote on a black background 
just imagine what you can do with this image generator. You can just paste a quote and you have like a cool, brilliant image in the background. All right. So that's just some avenues to explore. Unfortunately, it will all depend on you. All right. You have to work for it. There's a lot of monetization options out there. We live in the content creation world. And if you just dedicate yourself, you can have real money. Honestly, you can just have real money if you work hard at it. So go and do it. I wish you good luck and I'll catch you later.